Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a single event handler function for multiple controls in a Microsoft Access form. Okay, in my other tech help video, Custom List Box Columns, I show you how to create a list box that will display different columns based on which checkboxes you select. Okay, here's the database. You got first name and email selected. If I add last name, it pops up over here. Phone number, it pops up over here. Okay, and it displays each one of these. I'll put a link to this video down below in the links section in the description below the video. Go watch that. Now, in that video, I say you have to put an event in each one of these boxes. So when you check on that box, the after update event fires, or you can use the on click event, either one, right? And what that after update event does is it runs this guy called requery list. It's the same thing, but you got to put it in each of those boxes. Okay, requery list then comes up here and runs this guy. Okay. Now, I absolutely love it when one of my students calls me out on something. Okay. One of my longtime members, Akeem, brought it to my attention that you can use a single function and assign it to all those checkboxes at the same time without having to add them individually. And of course, yes, he's absolutely correct. And I'll show you how to do it in just a second. Number one, I do try to not add too much new stuff to each new video. I don't want to blow people's brains out. But number two, I haven't used this technique myself in years. So it completely skipped my mind as I was preparing this video. But as soon as he mentioned it to me, I'm like, duh. Yeah, of course you can do this. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, first things first, let's come in here and remove all these after update events that we don't need. All right, so show customer, show email, first, active, last name, get rid of all those. Show phone, show state, get rid of all those. Okay, so now all those checkboxes are not bound to any event. We still need the one in the form load, though. Okay, now come back out here, and you'll see the events are all gone from over here. Okay, see that? The events are all gone. Now, in your code, this guy is private sub requery list a sub just does something a function returns a value now if you want this to work we have to turn requery list into a function just change that word to function it doesn't have to actually return a value but it's got to be a function okay now come back out here to the database we're going to select all of those checkboxes okay and in either the after update or the on click event doesn't matter we're going to put equals Requery list open close parentheses. That's the name of my function. Okay, and that's one quick way to assign that to all of these guys. You can't put event handlers in here, like you can't use the uh, the event procedure because that has to be unique VB code for each one. But if you can put it in a single function and all of those checkboxes just run that function, then it'll work. This is one of those tips that I haven't used in years myself. But let's save this, close it, open it back up again. All right. And now you'll see as I click, that function still runs because each one of those boxes is basically calling that function. Okay. And as you'll see, that's much quicker than going through and assigning an after update event to each checkbox. So Akeem, once again, thank you very much for bringing this to my attention. And um, you're one of those members that hasn't signed up on my website. So go to my website and sign up your account because I tried to look you up and I see you in my YouTube member list, but you're not on my website yet. There's a page right there. It's my YouTube find user page. Just come over here. There's a little form you fill out and it'll sync up your YouTube account with an account on my website. So there's your fast tip for today. I hope you guys learned something. I know it brought back something to my brain that I forgot a while ago. <laughs> what is that? A lot of people say, I know you've, You've forgotten more than I've ever learned. <laughs> so, <laughs> duh. But I uh, hope you learned something, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. How do you become a member? Click on the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. 
Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for Tech Hub questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access, too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website, and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.